host Hill from Triumph Hill Production with another Blender quick tip and in this quick tip I'm going to show you how to do motion graphics in Blender the easy way and it's with a free add-on called the sniper add-on tool for Blender and it's open source which is great it's pretty intuitive pretty simple pretty basic not basic but pretty easy to understand and use and the learning curve is not that steep at all not really much of a learning curve to it just in general and I'm doing this tutorial because someone asked me how I did these graphics uh, in Blender. Let me play this. Let me make this one a little bit bigger. And I'll play this for you. And there we go. Yep. That's, uh, that's the add-on. That's what the add-on can do when it comes to motion graphics inside of Blender. Now... I'm going to leave a link of the add-on in the description below this video so you guys can download it. Once you've downloaded it onto your computer, you install it by going to File, User Preferences, so File again, User Preferences. Wait till this pulls up here. And this install add-on from File, you click on that and navigate to where you've stored your add-on. And once you've installed it into Blender, uh, this is going to be in the form of a zip folder. Do, do not unpack it. Just leave it as it is. And then just click install add-on from file into Blender. Once you've installed it in Blender, you have to, <clears throat> you have to activate it Excuse me, by making sure that this box has a check in it. Once that's done, it's activated in Blender. This will show up on the left-hand side of your toolbar uh, in the toolbar menu over here. I'm going to go to five to my uh, keyboard pad and press five and one, so I can look at it from the front view. Let's press seven underneath the top view here. You can do it from any angle at all, but I just prefer the top view, looking down into your user interface from the top. I'm going to delete this cube. Press delete and then X to delete it. Then Shift A, and then I'm going to use text. Now you can just add on in any on any thing in Blender if it's a mesh, 3D object, or an image. But I just prefer text because it seems to, to work a lot better when it comes to text, in my opinion. Now we're going to uh, change this text to something else. I'm going to press Tab, and then backspace a few times, and let's spell the word taller, and tab out again. Shift D to duplicate it. Left click to accept that uh, that operation. Hold down your mouse button over the X. Okay, let's do that. Let's hold hold down our top mouse cursor over the X axis. Left to click and drag. And let's try to center this a little bit. In the center of the window there, and then let's. Uh, Turn this into a different word also. Tab, backspace a few times. And let's type in smaller. Okay, tab. Now I'm going to change the position of this word so that it, it tilts down. So S on the Z axis by minus 90. Oh, that's. Let me try that again. S on the. Z -S oh, hold on for a second. Yeah, S on the Z axis by 90. Hold on, I think. Is that scale? Well, let me just do it manually. Just press R. And then hold down the, uh, I think it's the shift. I'm having some issues with my keyboard here. X90. Okay, that's not it. That was R on Z by 90. Let's turn it, let's have it point upwards. Yeah, I've done this like the fifth time I've had to record this tutorial. Uh, it keeps crashing for some reason. The, uh, re the uh, recording software keeps crashing. But let's just go with this for right now. Have our uh, smaller point upwards and our taller go across. Now to activate this add-on, let's click on the first word here, and then let's uh, 
click on add target to camera and what it does is that it adds an extra camera besides the camera that came with the scene which is still here it adds an extra camera to uh, the scene and the camera is parented by this little orb here this little I call it an empty so it's connected to this this empty as so wherever the empty goes the words and the camera pretty much follow now if the only way this is going to work properly in terms of the camera tracking the movement or the tracking the positions of these words of the words is it the words here have to be the same as they are in your outliner now if you look in the outliner it just says text and then text point zero zero one and that would not work with this add-on in order to fix that automatically you just click on text to name and it automatically makes the words <clears throat> match with what's in your user interface here and the next thing you want to do is go to the, to the next window because it has two windows this window to set up the camera and the second window which is here this has all the parameters in here that work with this with the what's in your scene and as you can see from this menu you only have this word taller here in order to get this word into the stack here left click on that second text and press new targets from selection and it adds it in there now we're going to press play and we're going to see what happens let's go into camera view by pressing zero and then let's press play on our keyboard or in the uh, window here press play and there you go there's no there's not much to it it's just straightforward <clears throat> now what the great thing with this add-on is that you can actually um, have the camera have more of an organic movement because right now it's really static going from just taller to smaller and there's nothing really much to it just straight movement we don't want that we want some organic movements in the camera so let's click on the camera and then we're going to increase the wiggle of the camera which is here let's bump this up a few times 0.5 and let's play that to see what it looks like you see the camera is starting to shake now which is good and that's not bad but we want to add even more movement to the camera we want to go from taller to smaller and it have like a jerking movement and comes to like a stopping motion not a sudden stop motion but a gradual stopping motion and that can be achieved by clicking in this parameter here and increasing that a few times and let's play that back and see what happens okay there it goes jiggling and then it bounces to a stop which is what exactly what we want and that's just great just straightforward animation nothing much to it and you can add more words to your scene and but what you have to keep in mind is as you add more words to it <coughs> excuse me hit recalculate so that the camera can be recalculated in order to get all the motions for all the text you apply to your scene you can also manipulate the timing of the camera by clicking on that and this opens up the uh, the dope sheet let's click on that you can manipulate how slow or ha how fast you want the camera to move from one text to the next so yeah this is the add-on that's really great it's really intuitive really straightforward it does a lot of stuff and and you don't have to have just the text you know straight forward looking at the camera you can pivot or change the rotation of the text also and the camera will follow will you know follow the the movement of the text let's give uh let's see how that looks let's click on that little orb there let's press r and x and then kind of change the direction of how the camera looks at this text let's press recalculate and press play and it stays there it, that adds more a little bit more dynamics to it which is also helpful and another cool thing about it is that when you click on the camera and you go to this camera icon click on that you'll see down here it says focus and what that does is that if you have an image in the background behind your text this will automatically put the image in the background out of focus as you increase the uh, the uh, the amount here or decrease it actually and the text in the foreground will be in focus which helps with uh, depth of field which is also great so yeah this is a really cool add-on you can download it i'll leave a link of it in the description below download it